Is it a nice day outside, Raylan? Is it so nice out here? <laughs> Just a nice warm day. Thought we'd go for a walk. Got your shoes. <laughs> Raylan, you don't have your shoes on, but I guess you have your wheels on. Yeah, you ready to go for a walk? You kind of zoned out from that clonopin today, aren't you? Yeah, it's okay. Who painted your nails? Did your nurse paint your nails? Are those lilies? Yeah, there's some kind of, I want to say tiger lily, but I don't know. Well, it's a butterfly. Well, it's flying too fast to get it. <laughs> yeah. Are these clovers? Is that what that is? Yeah, giant purple clovers, I think. So I wanted to talk for a minute about how you don't need to feel sorry for Raylan. I get a lot of comments from people saying how they feel sorry for Raylan, and it comes from a good place. Um, I certainly am not offended by these comments, but people say things like, you know, uh, I feel so sorry for her. You know, she has such a um, hard life and things, and in a lot of ways, that's that's true. It's coming from a place of sympathy and empathy, and, and that's, those are all good things. But I want to give everyone permission to not feel sorry for Raylan, and, and I'll explain why. For our family, Raylan is just a very natural part of our lives. We take care of her. She gives us joy, just like kids do for their parents. She's a blessing to take care of. She's a blessing to be part of our family. And we love taking care of her, just like any parent should love taking care of their kids. I want you to imagine for a second, saying that you feel sad about a child who doesn't have the kinds of health problems that Raylan has. Imagine telling a parent of a you know healthy child, I feel so sorry for your child. <laughs> they would look at you and think, um, why? <laughs> and, you know, and obviously Raylan does have a harder life than a lot of people. And she does have pains and struggles that a lot of people don't have. But I always come back to this idea that, you know, everyone has struggles in life. And, and we're fortunate to know what Raylan's are so that we can help her through those things. And I also want to remind people that we only show like five to ten minutes of the day. And sometimes we show like the more action-oriented parts of the day. Raylan does not have pain all the time. Raylan is not sad all the time. Like every kid, she smiles, she enjoys the day, she enjoys being part of our family. She communicates in subtle ways. And since we've been around Raylan for so long, uh, we can tell when she's happy, we can tell when she's in a good mood. And just like other kids, we can kind of tell when she's in a bad mood, when she just kind of wants to check out and not really pay attention or contribute to what the family is doing. <laughs> in a lot of ways, I know her life is a lot different than a lot of kids. I, I totally acknowledge that, but I give you permission to not feel sorry for her. <laughs> this is her normal life. She's not sad all the time and, and she wouldn't want you to be sad all the time for her. <laughs> now, do I know all these things? No, but I feel like as her parent, I probably know more what she's thinking than a lot of people, right? <laughs> My parents tend to know that about their kids. If I had to guess, I would think that she would want everyone who sees these videos of hers to be happy, to be joyful, to not be sad because you watch the video, but be, be happy that she's part of a loving family. So, so like I said, I'm not offended by any of those kinds of comments. I mean, I know that they come from a place of empathy, sympathy, but I also hope that anyone who might be sad from learning about Raylan's story, when you start to see Raylan more, get to know her more through the videos, I hope more than sadness, it inspires hope and joy in you. Joy, because Raylan is a joyful part of our lives, but also hope because uh, there's gonna be a day when God restores everything. I believe in a God who gives all people hope. Uh, in the end, God is going to make all things new. There's going to be no more pain, no more sickness, no more death. And I don't know what that's going to look like. Like, I don't know in heaven if Raylan's going to talk and walk and all that kind of stuff. It, it could be that those things just don't matter as much as we think they do. You know, we, we filter everything through the lens of what we think is normal and healthy. But maybe in the grand scheme of things, being able to talk and walk just isn't that big of a deal. What matters more than all the things that we think that Raylan ought to be able to do, what matters far more than that is being part of a loving family, loving each other, not complaining about each other, not worrying about all the little details that we oftentimes worry about in life. It's funny that so many people, we, we say things like, you know, accomplishments and money and all the vain things that we oftentimes chase after in life. We say that those things don't matter. And then at the same time, we might look at Raylan and be sorry for her. Well, the thing is, She's just kind of living the life that we all say is important. <laughs> like loving and being loved by your family. Enjoying life, not being so bogged down by all the things that don't matter in life. Now, once again, do I always know what's going through her head? Oh, of course not, no. But I do know that she's not nearly as sad as what so many people seem to think that her life is like. And if she's not sad about her life, I give you permission not to be sad for her. Does that make sense? <laughs> I do thank everyone for being concerned for her, but she's doing okay. Like I said, she's part of our loving family and we love her so much. 
I want you to know that God loves you no matter what you're going through, whatever situation you find yourself in. Always have hope and joy. God bless you. We'll see you again next time.